Hey, what is up guys and welcome to another episode of Mundo's World. Here today we actually have Baseball Card Chase. Um, and that is this year's. I uh, just picked it up about a week ago. Um, was interested to see was interested to see what this was all about, so I decided to pick up a, a box of it. And we're going to open it right here on Mundo's World. Now, before we do get into that, I will ask if all of you could kindly hit that thumbs up. It might go this way. Um, like the video and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It does help me out. Um, so, I appreciate it, guys. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell um, so that you guys don't miss any new content that we may have here on this channel so without further ado crack that guy open and let's take a quick little look here so um, it says six card packs featuring your favorite players from the past 30 years in unopened baseball card packs. So, World's Greatest Card Chase is what it's called. Um, and there's big finds apparently, like a Derek Jeter rookie autograph from 94 signature rookies. Um, I don't know what that's worth, but apparently there's all kinds of stuff. It says, uncover randomly inserted diamond packs redeemable for superstar rookie cards and autograph memorabilia look for these superstar redemptions um so we got randomly inserted diamond packs and that seems like it's pretty much all it says um trying to see if there's anything else on here that's pretty much it um so we can get to it didn't realize that it has like a little tape seal here um didn't see that didn't see that coming actually all right just recently shaved the noggin today okay so okay so it looks like they actually give you six old Packs. Um, okay, so in this particular box, I got Tops 1988. All right, baseball. Probably would stay away from eating the gum. We got 89 Tops. We got 91 Series 1 score. 91 is not a very great year. We got the Babe Ruth collection, 1992, I guess, is when that was available. We got Donruss Baseball, um, Stan Musil, uh, 88 Diamond Kings, I guess. I mean, 88 uh, Donners, I guess. 1990. Um, and this is the collector's choice from Upper Deck. Okay, so what should we do here? I guess we'll go latest to oldest, I guess. This was, What did we say this was? 88? All right. We'll go... I don't know if that's... Yeah, 89, 90, 91, and 92. I believe this is from 92. Yep, 92. Okay, this is kind of... I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I, I have... There's a little bit of the... Um, you know, the, the... What do you call it? Um, the nostalgia of opening old cards. Unfortunately, I can already see here. I don't know if you guys can see that corner, but it's like the corners are already banked, like not in great condition. Um, 
I don't know how well it shows, but some of them are like lifted up, like that guy there. So that's that's not good first impression. I don't like. Can you see that? There you go. You can see how it's bent right there. If there's actually a crease on it, well, that's not good. Okay, so apparently there's 165 of these cards. Uh, so year in review. So these are all Babe Ruth cards. I really don't. I have no idea what these things are worth. Um, to be honest with you, I mean the sealed pack might have been worth a little bit more. Um, I don't know that there is you no know, so being remembered the bambino the man the bambino the man sultan of swat his many nicknames career highlights career highlights from 1919 place in history from 1927 Place in history from 1942, year in review from 1932, and a year in review from 1915. So that was rather so. No nostalgia with this particular pack, and that's because I've actually never had it. I, I never remember buying a pack of Babe Ruth collection. Um, all right, 91 score. Don't know what we'd be looking for in this. 91. I, I don't think there's really any big names from that here. Um, John Cruck, Mike Fielder, Mike Stanley, Chuck Finley, Jim Batcher, rookie prospect, Terry Wells, rookie. Mel Stottlemyer Jr., Derek May, Kevin McReynolds, Mark McGuire, Bob Ojeda, Bob Welsh. Uh, these were fun. They they're not. They don't have much of a value to it. 1979 World Series trivia. Greg Hibbard, Bill Swift, Matt Young, Jeff Robinson. So in case you guys are wondering, this lefty little device is obviously my phone, and that's what gives us that second view, because I did in the past have issues with trying to show what I was opening, so I found a fix that saved me some money, um, and maybe I'll post that in a video on how you guys can make that work for you guys at home as well, because um, I would absolutely love to see your guys... You know, YouTube channels, if you guys have them, um, go ahead and post them in the comments, please. Um, I'd love to see them. All right. We got 1990 uh, Upper Deck Collector's Choice. Mike Marshall, Scott Sanderson, uh, Bob Hamlin. I, I don't like how they always had things all. Lance Parrish, all out of order and disorganized. Uh, Lance Blankenship, Curtis Wilkerson, Wilkinson, Wilkerson. I was right the first time. Uh, again, Derek Lilliquist, Mickey, Mickey Hatcher, Greg, ha sorry, Gene Harris, Tim Belcher. I'm throwing these names off. Scott Bradley, Darna, Darnell Coles, Doug Drabeck. And Paul Gibson. All right, so that a little more uh, nostalgic. Those two packs. Now, like all these, I actually collected. <laughs> um. Do you guys dare me to try the gum? Um, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. If I get at least 20 people telling me to try the gum, I may go ahead and try it. So, all right, let's continue. 
as we have 89 top space ball. And I have plenty of this stuff. Um, really, I just wanted to see what this was about. I really didn't know that it was just random old packs in here. So there's that. Bobby Valentine, Gerald Perry, um, Jack Clark, Jim Ganter, Gantner, sorry, uh, Moose Stubbing, or Stubing, Brian Downing, Randy St. Clair, Les Straker, Company Store, Indian Indians Leaders, Mark Parent, Bob McClure, Don Mattingly, Ted Power, Mike Schooler, and Athletics Leaders. All right. Not going to lie to you, a lot of this is very anticlimactic. All right, we got 1988 Topps Baseball. All right. Again, if you guys vote on it and I get 20 votes, I will eat both of these sticks of gum. I promise you guys. And I'll do it on camera. All right. What do we got here? We got Moose Haas. We got Tim. I don't know how to pronounce that. Tufel? I'm going to go with Tufel. Jamie Quirk. Mike Stanley. Daryl Miller. Johnny Grubb. Bud Black. Tommy John. Oh, that's who they named that after, huh? Tommy John Surgery. Mark McGuire. What is this? All star rookie card. Doubt it's going to be worth much, but. Pasquale Perez. Scott Bales. Look at that record breaker. Mark McGuire. Steve Trout. Jim Acker. And. Pedro Guerrero. Like how I switched up the accent there. You can do that anytime. Alright, moving on. And this is the same year, 1988, but this is Donruss. Was this maybe their first. First year? No. Couldn't have been the first year. I wonder why they didn't put the year on their packs. All right. 88. Two are good 88 players. All right. So we got a puzzle piece. Juan Castillo. Mike Aldrete. Al Pedrick. James Steeles. Lance Parrish. Danny Darwin. Ken Daly, Gus Polidor. Oh, look at that. Cal Ripken Jr., Donruss Diamond King, Chuck Krim, John Hayden, Larry Henderson, John Shelby, Rick Cerrone, and Corey Snyder. Not going to lie to you guys. Very, very, very very disappointing um not sure what any of this is worth chances are that all this added up will not be worth the i don't know 15 or 20 bucks whatever that this costs uh retail um now i mean i get it i we, we all are in it for the gamble and absolutely uh i'm all for it would i buy it again though probably not this is not something that I would invest in. Um, I do understand that a lot of people are looking for, you know, that Derek Jeter rookie or, you know, whatever else they got in here as far as, like, the balls, the signed balls and um, other great stuff, like a Hank Aaron card and I don't even know who that is. Uh, but, yeah, they apparently got, like, a whole bunch of stuff that people are looking for. But... Um, to be honest with you guys, I think that 
they really what they did here was just took a bunch of stuff put it together threw in some things that people would really like and get people to buy you know this all this stuff that's so that's just about it um anyways guys thank you guys for watching um it has as always been a pleasure my pleasure to be with you guys while we're opening some new packs and seeing some new stuff you know it was definitely worth it to see the new stuff that's uh you know that that's coming out in these packs um old stuff technically but uh you know something new on the market anywho guys thank you again please i will ask you guys to like subscribe and comment whether or not you guys want to see me eat some gum in the next one and now if you guys are commenting please make sure that you guys are subscribing or at least liking the video so that because uh, it would not be great if I got 20 comments to eat the gum but I didn't even get 20 likes that would be pretty sad therefore please like the video first before you comment we'll see you guys next time here on Mundo's World to see what Mundo is up to next see you guys next time